All right, boys, let's rank Oblivion's quest lines. Has someone done this yet? Nope, no AI videos or even of real people talking. This tier list itself was made for this video. Damn, that's cool. I have no clue what an AI video would be, but I hope we don't give bad takes. But anyways, with what guild do we start? The Fighter's Guild. Takes? Well, the quest line is a great introduction to Oblivion's combat mechanics. They are a bit different from Morrowind's, so they may be good for new players like me. Exactly. Not only is it beginner-friendly, but the quest line is also well-structured somehow. It offers a sense of progression, and the tasks kept me pretty engaged and were interesting. Really? the fighters guild the quests are super repetitive many tasks are just clearing out caves or ruins of enemies for god's sake why did they even build a quest line around this yeah but in my opinion the quest line has a good balance of brain bashing exploration and puzzle solving it's pretty well rounded well, thinking more about it, the tasks sometimes are repetitive, although they kept me engaged. One problem from the FG is that the storyline is a bit disconnected and lacks a cohesive narrative sometimes. I have no clue what that means either, but don't the rewards make up for it? Not at all. The storyline is truly a little off, and the fact that the guild is all about combat is a bit limiting. It doesn't offer much opportunity for role-playing as other guilds. Come on, it's the Fighter's Guild. If you want anything other than combat, don't join it. Fair. Well, I believe that the guild is good, but lacks in some aspects and isn't that memorable. What about B tier? I'd go straight with C or D. But you like to play as a warrior, you moron. I'd give it an A, maybe an A+, plus because it really helped me out. Okay, so let's even it out at B tier. I think it's pretty fair. It's a good quest line overall. How about the Dark Brotherhood? Now that's a fantastic one. The DB has a captivating story that is well-written and engaging with plot twists that got me glued to my chair. With your weight, it'd be difficult for you not to be. Shut up, Cranky Kong! Come on, guys. Anyways, the Dark Brotherhood questline is truly exceptional. It offers some of the most memorable and well-developed characters in the game, each with unique personalities and backstories. Exactly. Lucian is single-handedly one of the best characters in all of Elder Scrolls. His voice haunts my dreams, but seeing how complex he is is fascinating. I can totally agree. His enigmatic and mysterious nature is truly one of a kind. He is a shadowy figure lurking in the shadows in the beginning of the game and keeps on his shroud through it whole, becoming the player's mentor and a friend, if that is even possible to be said. His past is tragic, but he is still a very compelling and likable character that really makes the Dark Brotherhood stand out. But come on, it's pretty dark as the name implies, and I was a little spooked by it. Then don't play it, man. It doesn't have anything that is too dark or anything. It's just a serious guild anyways. The quest line is challenging but rewarding with some tough fights that made me need to toggle TGM at times. One of my only complaints about the DB is that the quest line is a little too linear, with not as many opportunities to do exploration or open-ended gameplay as other guilds from Oblivion itself and other Elder Scrolls titles. Obama's nerd ass keeps reading the dictionary and expects us to understand it. To hell with your open-ended gameplay, the DB is S-tier and I will take nothing else. It was developed by the guys who wrote the Thief game or something. Yikes, I'd give it a B. It's pretty short and too dark for me. Sorry, Biden, I need to admit that it does have its flaws, but as far as Oblivion goes, it's the best we have. Pretty clear S tier. Aw, oh, damn it, whatever. Who do we have now? The arena, it seems. This is one of my favorites. The quest line is pretty entertaining, providing a unique gameplay experience from the other quest lines in the games. The fights are challenging and exciting, and it's fun to see your character progress and become stronger with time. Yeah, bashing skulls may be repetitive, but screw it, it's the goddamn arena. The quest line has a great sense of progression, with each fight getting tougher and more rewarding than the last. Going from pit dog to champion is what I do first in the game. What do you mean with great sense of progression? The difficulty of the fights can be pretty unbalanced, some are too easy and others are unbearably difficult. Yeah, Joe, but for you who is a beginner, it's a pretty nice way to earn money and valuable items. It saves the early game of anyone. But the late rewards are not as useful or valuable. I'd go with A tier for the arena. I'd go with A tier as well. It's a pretty solid pick, and it is because of the arena that we have the adoring fan. I couldn't imagine Elder Scrolls lore without that little derpy blonde guy. Yeah, that little guy is pretty funny to kill. I hope he doesn't hate me, though. Once again, I am wronged. I would put it at B, but since you guys both went with A, there's nothing I can do. Now who do we have?